We found a really big tree on our way to Badger Lake. Hopefully. <laughs> this has been down a long time. We can cut through it. Peter's done a lot of cutting on the other side, but we are not short enough to clear it. Sad. We're gonna try the winch maneuver. Not sure if it's gonna work. This is a lot bigger than the tree we did on last time. As you can see, it's all the way across the road and it broke over here. And our noble seed is not going to clear. We're using our tiny pole saw, which is a 10 inch bar to cut through this massive, at least three foot diameter tree. We couldn't cut through all the way one side, obviously. So we cut all the way around and it just got through enough that we heard it snap. It's somewhat loose, but obviously it's gonna take a lot of force to get it out of there. You can see it's still attached at the base there. What we did is attach a tree strap up here, a snatch block there to our truck. What that will do is it'll help pull the tree off the trail and away from our truck as much as possible. It's gonna be a really hard pull and it potentially could snap the tree, which will be a little interesting. So we're gonna have to stay clear of it, but uh, this should be an interesting uh, video to see it come down. Let's see what happens. We've done this before, but not with nearly as big of a tree. Babe, it's sliding the truck. We repositioned just a little bit because it was dragging the truck off the road. And Ryan is in the truck, our brother-in-law, and we don't want him going off the edge with it. To remove the snatch block because it was pulling the truck to the edge. Okay, now we're gonna try and go straight back since the tree is mostly cracked. It just needs to let loose. It's pretty caught up there. I don't know though with the weight of the truck if it's gonna be enough to pull this. We'll find out. We had a Jeep friend stop and help us just to give us a little bit of weight on the back end. We added another snatch block in We're gonna, and some extra rope. We're gonna see if we can pull it more straight forward. It's really trying, you can hear it. Oh, it's going! It's, going. it's moving! Woo, there it goes! Whoa, right in the middle of the road. The tree is officially down. There's no one else going to pass by it. Now we're going to try and drag it over off the hill and down there. We rearranged the snatch blocks to that tree and there's only one snatch block. It's on the actual, it's on that tree. We're going to try and pull it again and move it off to the side, not just in the middle. Hopefully we don't snap our tree that has our snatch block on it. This tree is still really heavy, although it's loose now and a lot lower than it used to be. Wait, don't go under the tree. Okay. As we were saying, we have a race coming down today. We were hoping that we were done with runners coming down, but we are clearly not. It's a slow go getting it to move, but it's moving. Very exciting means we might actually make it to Badger Lake tonight. We've been told by a couple of Jeeps that came through that Badger Lake is pretty busy, which is pretty typical. It's a Saturday and uh, they've got state troopers up there, which is actually probably a really good thing since um, just north of us in the Mount Hood National will uh, is on fire. So we're trying to make sure no more fires happen. It, the back end is going to turn. Yeah. Very exciting. We're almost clear. Hopefully, this will actually clear it and let it roll. It's so close to coming off the edge. That's a big tree.
The Jeep guys didn't think we'd be able to bring it down so we could take the camper through. They don't know how persistent Peter is. Not to mention, we've done this a few times. This is the largest tree we've ever done it with. Should we stop there? Can we get the trucks past? The only reason I ask is because as soon as that tumbles, we're not going to be able to get the winch disconnected. We did it! Peter's going to take Woo! our pieces down. We're going to be able to continue on to Badger Lake. That's really exciting. <laughs>